Hello guys, good morning. Wherever you are, whatever city you are, I don't really know the time, but um, this is as early as possible. We're able to do this video for everyone, and then um, we're super excited because this is our ever first YouTube video, and we will need all the support we can get. We need your likes, your shares, and your comment. And from start to finish, we would get to see all the tutorials that come with the um, retouching of this image we did this image earlier this morning before now and this was this was the result of this image so what we are trying to achieve here for this whole class for this other image is have that same or something better with you guys working with me and learning how I got that final product for that beautiful image. So stay tuned. So right now we are going to dive into the business of the day. We have this wonderful dark skin model and this makeup was done by James Paco. Thank you, James Paco. You did a wonderful job. We are going to try fix this image and make it look perfect. The first step to doing that is um, doing the, the blemish removal technique. And for us to do blemish removal for any image or for anything on Photoshop, we have tools to be able to fix that. We have the clone stamp tool, we have the um, um, patch tool, we have the soft, the spot healing brush tool, we have the healing tool, and we have some other, other tools that you could use to fix your blemishes. But for, for myself, I'll be using the, the clone stamp tool. So what you do is for the clone stamp tool you you click on your alt you hold your alt and then you sample you cover up you hold your alt you sample you cover up you hold your alt you sample you cover up okay so we'll be doing that for all the blemishes that we will try to fix so um for the rest of this section or this part i guess i will just have to do the work and try to be fast so that i won't which waste so much of your time or make the video long so just stay tuned and enjoy all right so don't forget to like this video and comment too so that we gain visibility in a short period of time our goal is to reach out to as many persons as possible or as many photographers as possible that are having challenges on how to do um, the retouching to um, skin toning to to dodge and burn to color grading and lots more a whole lot will be done on this channel so stay tuned and enjoy this wonderful moment with GMAX Studios. So, all right, we are done with the blemish remover. Yes, we're done with the blemish remover. Okay, we just have this little guy here. I think, yes, yes, and we're good. We're good. Okay, so the rest of this other blemishes would be removed. We don't need to worry about these other guys here. Um, during African separation, we would fix that all up. So, for for the next process, we are going to be doing our creating a frequency separation layer. So how do we go about that? We will duplicate this background layer and we can do that by either dragging this, taking to this plus, plus sign, and then it makes a copy of the background layer. Or we could go with Ctrl or Command J. So we do it twice, Ctrl Command J. So we, we, have, we have two layers here. We name this first layer. Um, low frequency, low FQ, and then we name the 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 up layer high FQ. So let's give this a bit of respect, yeah. So let's make this a capital letter high, and then the low, yeah. Okay. All right, we're good. So now we will now up the visibility of the 
high frequency layer uh, while we are on the low frequency layer on the low frequency layer what you want to do is apply your gaussian blur so we go to filter blur and then we go to gaussian blur under your gaussian blur you want to zoom this out a bit so that you would compare and then also you would want to zoom this in to to be able to have two screens seeing what you're doing and understanding what you should do so for for this image i would be using when applying your blow that's your first blow okay you're trying to take away the little blemishes from the skin and by doing that you're preserving it on the high frequency layer so every blemish that is being that that is taken off from your low frequency note that it is being preserved on your high frequency so for this image the blow we've applied we blow your, we have applied all right we're going to um use let's say 6.5 for this image 6.5 okay 6.4 6.4 is okay so click on this 6.4 and then we would we would okay i'm not too comfortable with 6.4 So I would I would go again and get my frequency separation, Gaussian blur, and then I want my pitch my my image to be sharp. I want it to be sharp. So I would add. I will go do my apply image. I will go to image, and then I will click on apply image. So I have under the apply image. Your source file, leave it the way it is. Your low frequency, we are going to click on the low frequency. On a normal day, it's supposed to be on merge. So when we come to the low frequency, click on the low frequency. And then on the blend, the blend would be subtract. Scale 2, offset 1 to 8. So please take note that when you come to your apply image, you will get to sit on merge. You change the merge to low frequency. This would be on normal. That's the blending will be on normal. So you change it to subtract. And then the scale would be possibly on a zero. And then this guy on a zero. So you change it to two. And the offset one to it. You leave the um, preserve temp. Uh, you leave the opacity. You leave the, um, the invert. And every other thing is okay. The channels you leave it that way, and then we click okay. We come here and we click linear light. We select linear light under the blending options. So we're good. So I would want to group this image by holding my control. Then I'll click on my high frequency and I'll click on my low frequency and I'll click on control G. Now, Ctrl G helps to group the image. So I'll do Ctrl Z right now. And then another way you can group your image is by drawing this down here. And then we create a group for it. So we name it Frequent Separation. We good? We good. All right. So on that frequency separation, we would have this image. But what I do is, while I work, I would drop an empty layer. I actually don't work on it yet. It's for a purpose. And I will be told about the purpose in um, our future, uh, our next tutorial. But for now, we'll stick to frequency separation. So there are two major techniques to frequency separation, which is the selective method the mixer and the mixer brush method i believe maybe there are many other techniques out there that uh, are prominent but for myself i mostly use these two but for today we'll be working with the mixer brush method to make this image look the way it should so we're going to now start with this so we're good to go now. We're ready. So tighten your seatbelt. 
Okay, so I will now go over to to this guy. Then I'll pick my mixer brush tool because that's the technique we're using today. The mixer brush tool. Okay, when I set my mixer brush, I would be using the wet to 40, 40, 40. And um, this guy, I would use it at 10. And this guy at 0. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. All right, we begin now. So, working with frequency separation, there are some basic things you should know. Which is understanding where your light fall. So one off, then we we'll see what we're doing. If you're doing fine, if you're not doing fine. So for now, I believe that we are doing perfectly okay. Right, we're doing perfectly okay. So I'll continue from there. Now for frequency separation, for you to be able to master the art of the of using the mixer brush, you have to understand and take note of where your light falls so we are having our shadows here so we don't want to spill it while we brush we want to stay guided to what we have and work under control yes so we would brush that yes we're doing we're doing great So I'll brush the eyes and if you need the raw file to be able to practice please let us know or let me know and then um, we would possibly email it to you or send it through whatsapp to you all right this is looking beautiful already Someday I will do a full course on the mixer brush method. How to understand the mixer brush method. And if you would love to get to see that course on the mixer brush method, please comment down below and then let, let me know. Let me know if it's a good idea. All right, so this is the nose. We would respect where the light is falling, and then we'll just guide it. We'll get, guide the light. Yes, we guide the light. Yes. Perfecto, perfecto. All right. I'm beginning to already love what we're getting. We're doing great, we're doing great. So for myself, I would most of the times I would brush into this guy here to see what my result will be. 
because of I'm using a high blur for my frequency separation, I'm not so scared because the texture of that hair will be preserved. So we have the texture of that hair, yeah? Yes, we have it. Still have it there. Right? So we would go on to the neck. We're not totally done with the face. There are still a little more work that can be done there. So we'll go over to the neck. And then we'll fix it up. Now you don't want to spill the light over. So if I'm having that bone there, I want to leave it that way because it adds shape and beauty to the image. That perfect shape and beauty to the image. So we want to leave it that way because we love the output of what we are getting there. Thank you. So please, please, please do well to click on the notification icon there. Help us to like, turn on the notification because we're not just doing this for now. We're doing it. We, we are going to be dropping this video, if possible, if possible, daily. But for now, as a spirit lead, I don't know what that means, but maybe you do. So, so, so it is what it is. All right, lovely. So I will, I will on it. I would um, on the visibility of the eyes, and we will. Okay, this is this is beautiful. We're doing good. I want it so I want it so that you see we're doing good already. We're doing good. We're doing good already. The fact that you're going to learn something from this video is already exciting for me. And the fact that we are able to touch as many as possible that are not in our locality is mind blowing is mind blowing so please do well to share share this video to that your friend that has been struggling with frequency separation for a while especially the mixer brush method this is one new way to use it and like i said if you like this please please do well to let us know and we would work on a full video tutorial just for the mixer brush method all right so today we have come to the end of today's um, section frequency separation using the mixer brush method so stay tuned for our next video if you like this video please do well to like comment and share. Thank you so much. Have a great time.